Hi friends, today we are going to do something that is very important and only you should be doing it in, in QA and in dev system, not in production, never. In production, if you want to try also, you will not get access, okay? just to let you know. Okay, so what we are going to do is sometimes it may happen that you might want to change some of the fields here, which is uh, which is a primary, which is uh, uh, like, suppose I want to change the student 21 to something else created by student 21. So how can I do that? Okay, so here I am showing you how to do debug with change. Again, only in QA and in dev. Okay, the SAP security team you are listening, only in dev and QA. So, you go to SC16, okay, and I know the table name, in the table for purchase order, and here what I'm going to do is I'll copy this, simple copy, paste, execute, and here, you can see, I'll display it, and here, I want to change this uh the creator name to something else okay so what i'm going to do is uh, go to slash eight first thing debug so any place where you go and click on slash eight it opens debug and now i will see whether i first of all i i need to see whether i have debug access so here i think i am back to the old screen so let me old debug screen let me go and click on debug switch to standard about debug i hope i have access first of all you need to be friends with server security team to give you an access debug with change the reason you want debug with change because you need test data to test your stuff and trust me to find test data it's always a mess so in order to do as a technical person it's, it's not your uh, skill set to create test data so but you still need to find whether it really works or not so debug with change is your biggest weapon so what you are going to do is click here so if you see code, I click on this and you click and you put edit in caps, okay? And now you press enter, okay? The moment you press enter, this is editable. Now what you are going to do is you click F8 or you click on this icon. And here if you see, this is now open before it was not. And I will just put one one and I click save, okay? And it's, it will give some error because there's some... Uh, there can be some fields that are checking some uh, check table that has problem you just delete it and that's it this has changed now you might say okay what really changed so here you see created by students here 2 1 okay and now I'll just click on this and it's now this so we change this so this is very helpful and again I'm saying only in here and in there to get tested okay so that's it stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and have